Imagine a world where your phone is smarter than you, where you can attend a concert without leaving your couch, and where the line between what's real and what's digital just disappears. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, buckle up, because with 5G, that world is already here. And trust me, it's about to get wild. Hey there, my brilliant bandwidth buddies. Theodore here, your slightly jaded guide to the digital frontier. Today, we're diving headfirst into the 5G revolution. It's not just about downloading movies faster. Oh no, we're talking about a tech tsunami that's about to wash away everything we thought we knew about. Well, everything. Our tech-savvy titans are here to unpack how 5G is turning your phone into a supercomputer, making holograms a daily thing, and basically rewriting the rules of reality. So grab your digital surfboards, because this wave of change, it's going to be a wild ride. All right, so we've got a mountain of articles about 5G, and it seems like everyone's really hyped about it. But, you know, you wouldn't have sent us all this stuff if you thought it was just about faster downloads, right? You got it. This goes way beyond just speed. We're talking about a whole new way of experiencing, well, pretty much everything. Okay, I'm intrigued. We've got pieces here on everything from industry predictions to, like, that wild article about holograms from Groove Jones. So where do we even start? Well... I think the first thing we need to do is unpack what 5G actually is. It's not just an upgrade. It's a completely different way of thinking about connectivity. Okay, so like for those of us who just see those commercials with the flashy phones, break it down for us. What makes 5G so revolutionary? It boils down to two things, bandwidth and latency. Imagine a highway, right? Bandwidth is like adding more lanes. More cars can travel at once. Okay, that makes sense. More bandwidth, more data, faster speeds. Got it. But what about latency? Latency is like getting rid of all the traffic lights on that highway. Everything moves faster because there are fewer interruptions. Okay, let's break this down. 5G isn't just a faster highway. It's like teleportation for data. Imagine if you could think something and it instantly appeared on your screen. That's the kind of speed and responsiveness we're talking about. It's going to make our current tech look like we've been communicating with smoke signals. Exciting? Absolutely. Terrifying? Maybe a little. But hey, who needs reality when you've got 5G, right? And with 5G, we're talking about drastically lower latency. Hey, you know, no more buffering, no more lag on video calls. Exactly. Remember those times you're trying to watch a video and it just keeps spinning? Ugh, the worst. Gone. Yeah. History. And it's not just about making things we already do faster either. Remember that Groove Jones article about the Tupac hologram at Coachella? Oh, yeah, that blew my mind. That was years ago, right? Back in 2012. But even then, latency was a major hurdle. They used a really clever technique with reflections to create the illusion of a hologram. Right, right. But even the tiniest delay would have ruined the effect. With 5G, we're talking about real-time holographic communication. Imagine attending a concert in Japan from your living room, feeling like you're right there in the crowd. Okay, now I'm really starting to see why people are saying this is a bigger deal than just faster internet. But there's this term I keep seeing pop up everywhere, edge computing. What is that, and what does it have to do with 5G? That's a great question. Think of it this way. Right now, your smartphone is like a tiny kitchen trying to make a five-course meal. It can be done, but it takes a while, and it's not always pretty. Uh-huh. Okay, I like this analogy. Edge computing is like having a team of sous chefs nearby to help out. So edge computing, think of it like this. Instead of your phone calling a faraway brain for answers, it's got a genius buddy right next door. It's like giving your phone a PhD in everything. Suddenly, your little pocket rectangle is doing things you'd need a supercomputer for. AR, VR, real-time AI, all in the palm of your hand. It's cool, sure, but am I the only one wondering if our phones are getting a little too smart? Just saying. So like, more hands make less work. Exactly. With 5G, all the data processing doesn't have to happen on your phone. It can be offloaded to these more powerful servers called edge servers, which are much closer. And that's where the magic really happens. So you're saying it's like turning my smartphone into a supercomputer, 
by giving it a direct line to a much bigger brain nearby. Exactly. And that's what makes those super realistic gaming experiences, lifelike VR meetings, and everything else we've been talking about possible. And it's not just about phones either. Remember that MediaTek article, the one that mentioned we could have 22 billion devices connected to the internet by 2025? 22 billion? Wait, seriously? <sighs> That's more internet-connected devices than people on the planet. How can it even handle all that? That's the thing. 5G is about creating an infrastructure that can actually support that many connections. We're talking about a future where everything is connected. Your fridge, your car, your coffee maker. It's the Internet of Things explosion. Wow. That's a lot to take in. Yeah. It sounds like 5G is going to completely change the way we live, work, and interact with the world around us. Mm -hmm. So how quickly are we going to start seeing these changes happen? Well, that's the billion-dollar question, isn't it? And to answer it, I think we need to look at the specific areas where 5G is going to have the biggest impact. Let's start with entertainment. So entertainment, right. Like, I get that streaming is going to be crazy fast, but that Telefonica article they were talking about a new digital culture because of 5G, what does that even mean? Like, is my Netflix going to be that different? It's bigger than just faster Netflix, actually. Think about it. With 5G, you could have these incredibly immersive experiences. Like, imagine attending a live concert in, say, Tokyo, but you're in your living room. Okay, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But, like, we've got concert films and stuff now. But this would be different. This would be like you're there, you're feeling the energy of the crowd, everything. All right, let's talk holographic concerts. Imagine rocking out to your favorite band, feeling the energy of the crowd, the beat pulsing through you, all while sitting in your pajamas at home. It's mind-blowing, sure, but part of me wonders, are we losing something here? The sweaty, messy, beautiful human chaos of a live show? Or is this just the next step in musical evolution? I guess only time will tell if we're heading for a digital nirvana or just a really high-tech way to be alone together. Or... Think about stepping into a painting, like virtually, through VR, yeah. and you're experiencing every brush stroke, the texture. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty wild. So it's like not just watching, but experiencing stuff. Exactly. And speaking of experiences, we got to talk about gaming, right? I mean, remember when mobile games were those super simple things because the tech just couldn't handle anything more? Uh, yeah, like pixelated blobs chasing each other. Good times. Well, 5G changes all of that. We're talking console-level gaming, on your phone, anywhere. And the MediaTek article, they mention how game developers are already, like, drooling over this. It's a whole new world for them. Makes sense. Like, why be limited by what phones used to be able to do, to right? Totally. We could see game genres we haven't even imagined because now they've got this power and speed to play with. Okay. So that's entertainment. But, I mean, we can't forget social media, right? Like, yeah. That's how most of us actually use the internet every day. What's 5G going to do to, like my Instagram feed. Get ready for a lot more than just faster uploads, though I'm sure we'll all appreciate that. But that Davey AI article, they were talking about how brands are going to use this. Imagine like walking down the street. Oh, hold on. Let me guess the billboards come alive. Target ads in my face. Kind of, but more like you could have an AR fashion show happening around you based on you know what you like or virtual try-ons, but like for real in your living room. Okay, I got to admit that's kind of cool. <laughs> But also kind of creepy, right? Like yeah. how much of my world is going to be an ad? It's a valid concern for sure. And that's not even getting into that whole AI generated content thing from the IntelliClips article. Like if everyone's using filters and AI to make perfect versions of themselves. Yeah. Is social media going to be real at all anymore? Makes you think. It's something to watch. Definitely. OK, so we've talked about entertainment, social media. But those articles, the Tech Republic one, Davey AI, they barely scratched the surface of other stuff like 5G in healthcare or real estate. Don't even get me started. We could talk for hours about that. Imagine like surgeons training for super complex surgeries, but it's in VR, totally risk-free. Or you're buying a house, but you can walk through it virtually, even if it's on the other side of the world. It's mind blowing. Like these things sound small, but they could change entire industries. I'm starting to feel like we're living in a sci-fi movie, except it's actually real this time. All this stuff is actually happening. And we're still just scratching the surface of what 5G can do. Remember those first clunky smartphones? Oh yeah, you'd practically break your fingers trying to type a text message. Nobody back then could have predicted how smartphones would change the world. 5G is like that. It's laying the groundwork for a whole new era. Totally. We had no idea what we were getting into back then. That Telefonica article, they said 5G is going to create a whole new digital culture. 
Think about it. What does that even look like? What kind of art, what kind of ways of learning and connecting are going to be possible when we take away all the limits? It's exciting, but also kind of overwhelming, you know? <laughs> like we can see this huge wave coming, but we don't know what's on the other side. That's the thing about exploring the unknown. It's a little scary, but also exhilarating. This is a technology that could connect us in ways we never thought possible. Imagine the barriers we could break down, the possibilities we haven't even dreamed of yet. So it's not just about faster internet. It's about a future where the lines between the digital world and the real world get blurry, where our imaginations are the only limit. And that's a future I'm excited to be a part of. Me too. Well, you've given us a lot to think about today. 5G really isn't just about faster downloads. It's about a whole new way of experiencing the world around us. It is. So listeners, as you head back into your super fast 5G powered lives, think about this. What kind of world do you want to build with this technology? What experiences, what connections, what possibilities get you fired up? Let us know. Share your thoughts with us on social media. Until next time, happy diving. there you have it, my frequency-loving friends. 5G isn't just changing the game, it's flipping the whole board. Your phone's becoming a supercomputer, reality's getting an upgrade, and the digital world, it's knocking on your front door. Exciting times, scary times, weird times, but hey, that's progress for you. As we surf this tsunami of change, remember, technology's just a tool. It's what we do with it that counts. So what kind of 5G-powered future do you want to build? Let us know in the comments or, you know, telepathically. I'm sure there's a 5G app for that coming soon. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and for the love of bandwidth, try not to let your smartphone outsmart you. This is Theodore signing off and logging out. For now. For now.